I'd be willing to bet that a lot of you don't know what this little door on the front of your washing machine is for. And even if you do know, you're probably not using it as often as you should. I'm going to explain to you why maintaining this periodically is very important. So this little door is conveniently placed in the front of your washing machine so that you, the homeowner, can maintain the filter that's behind here. This little filter is designed to keep your pump and drain system from clogging with hair and lint and any other debris so that your washing machine can run very efficiently. Believe it or not, even top load washers have a filter system that is underneath the main auger inside the tub. Cleaning this filter only takes about five minutes and basically all you need is a bowl to catch the water that's in the drain system. I also like to put a towel underneath my little trap door here so that I catch any water that might drip out and get onto my cabinets or my floor. Now I like to personally take the door off completely. I think it makes it a little bit easier to stop any water from dripping anywhere. Once you get that door off, you basically release the hose, you pull out the little plug, And all that water that's in your drain system will now drain into the bowl that you have. There's not a lot of water in here and it only takes a few seconds for it to drain out. And once that water is drained you can plug the line back up and put it back how you found it. Now comes the filter part. Basically just unscrewing this and pulling this out you can see mine's actually not too dirty, but what you'll find in here is lint and hair and anything else that might be coming out of your clothes that might potentially clog the pump and drain system on the washing machine. This is important because a lot of these pumps have plastic parts and they're expensive to replace. The part itself isn't a fortune, but the labor involved requires taking the whole front of the washing machine off and that's where you're going to spend a good chunk of money. To clean my filter, I usually like to just bring it to a kitchen sink and run it under some water. If it's really dirty, usually a toothbrush will help get that clean. Once that's done, you basically just put everything back in the reverse order. There's one thing you might notice if this filter gets clogged is your clothes might have a lot of lint on them and they also might not be as dry from the spin cycle because your drain system is not functioning properly. The frequency in which you do this really depends on how often you use your washing machine. It also depends on how soiled your clothes are or if you have a lot of pets in your house, things that might be on your clothes that might potentially clog this filter up more often. So take a couple of minutes every couple of months and maintain your washing machine. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button.